So a very quick update for you, live from Scotland's capital, Edinburgh, with a real doctor. Mm -hmm. This is? My name is Alex Rowlings, or Dr. Rowlings. Look, he's like a real doctor and everything. And he's come from Amersham, but he lives now up here in Scotland, don't you? I do, I just moved here to start work in the summer. And uh, he's been examining myself and Joseph today. Uh, we've come down to Edinburgh to try and get uh, some sort of feedback from the doctor mm -hmm. that we've known who specialise in sport injuries, mm -hmm. what our outcomes are and how long we're going to live for. Mm -hmm. So, tell us. Well, the first thing that was very clear is that these two have been working at least 25% harder than Steve Paulson these last few days. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so I managed to break that down into two oh, parts. How cool is that? Um, first of all, being just how about Scotland being like about 15% more challenging. It's got bigger hills, it's got um, it's got rockier paths and that would no have just gentle slopes no, no not like these gentle rolling slopes of the south of england so that'd be that's the first thing which came to my okay. attention yeah um and then the next thing was just the, the pre-existing injuries which both of them have brought to brought to the wharf itself duncan with his knee and joseph with his many problems not go there <laughs> <laughs> a lot of issues there various ailments mm -hmm. so uh, so after examining both of us what is the outcome what do you think can we carry on walking? Can we keep going for Camino Port Amor or not? So having examined both of them today, two slightly different stories. First of all, I examined um, Duncan and that was that was a largely positive um, findings there. He, he came to me with some problems with his left knee reporting significant swelling there and I didn't see anything too out of the ordinary. Some slight, some slight lumps and bumps, some slight method, slight wear and tear there. But overall, I think it's just a sign that he's been overexerting himself. But, I think overall he can continue walking, maybe a slight reduction in the in the length each day, maybe it's around 10 kilometers and he should be should be okay from here. Okay, thank you very much. That means I can continue. Mm -hmm. And for Joseph, how long will he live for? Joseph is a, is another story. Um, <laughs> examining him was a, an experience um, in itself. And I it bet. Was, <laughs> it became clear that a number of problems were available in this young gentleman. Um, but first of all, the thing I'd like to note is that he first of all reported it was your knee you were talking about, yeah. was it, Joseph? It was my knee, yeah. Um, and Joseph had an injury a few days ago. I think you described, um, felt like you were, something something snapped, did it? Well, yeah, well, like I think my ankle gave way. And mm -hmm. I think that was the... So I think his ankle feeling. gave way and after that he had a number of problems with his knee and his hips since. But on examining today, I think the real problem is there in his foot. Um, I think he maybe needs a little bit of further medical attention um, down the line, but... Um, so I think for Joseph, I'd be have a bit more of a hesitant um, prognosis, and he should he should rest up for a few more days, and maybe consider getting further treatment, such as an X-ray, in the coming days. Well, so there you have it uh, from Edinburgh, from a real NHS doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, you can check out that he is actually a real doctor. Uh, what's the hospital you work at? Um, the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh. There you go. He's a real doctor and he's really checked us out today. So I can walk from tomorrow, but maybe not as far as I have been walking. Joseph probably can never walk again. Is that what you're saying? I think that's appropriate. That's appropriate to say. And that we have been exerting ourselves a lot more because of pre-existing injuries and because of the hills and the mountains in Scotland. 25% more energy we've been using and than Steve Paulson. That is a shock. To 30%, Absolute yeah. shock to me. Mm -hmm. Shocked. As your dad would say, gutted wouldn't he gutted so uh thank you very much everybody for your support so tomorrow we are back on the road yes, yes. team love shack <laughs>